Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell used stuff on eBay. Today is a Wednesday and we've got 40 some orders going out. To Yesterday was a really good sales day, about $500 in sales. Haven't been seeing that many good sales days lately. Been doing a lot more like $300 days when I really do need to be around that 500. But things are looking up. I think fourth quarter is just about here. So sales slowly starting to trickle up. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with the stuff we got going out today. Storage unit though is slowly filling up. Spent quite a bit of time reorganizing it today. This shelf right here, I've only got room for one more sewing machine box on. Everything else is completely full. I do have room over in this corner for one more shelf, but I was hoping not to have to do one this year. Hoping to get through the whole year without having to do that last shelf because in January, I go through the oldest 10% of my store and just kind of blow it out. Either get rid of it, drastically lower the price or something like that. And that clears up a lot of space when I do that. So I was hoping to make it to January and do that instead of having to build that extra shelf. But I might have to just do it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe things will get moving a little bit more. Just need to sell some bigger items, which sold at least one bigger item today. Very happy with that. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what sold. And then I will show you how to ship something. And then that'll be it for today. We're running out of space a little bit, though. You need to sell some bigger items. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should put my bigger stuff on sale. I don't know. We'll think about that. What do you guys do when you're running out of space? We're getting kind of cramped for these two, and I really don't want a third unit. I'm not going to buy a third unit. I'm not going to happen anytime soon. So anyways, let's just see what's hold. All right, starting down the floor just like normal, but guys, seriously, in the comments, let me know what do you guys do when you're running out of space? Just get rid of your old junk that's not selling. What do you do? I don't know. First, we got this. This is like a light bar. This box is in bad shape, but it's like brand new inside of here. So yeah, it goes on top of a truck or something. I can't remember what I got for that. It was over 100. Might have been like 120. I bought a lot of car parts. So this was the main reason I bought the lot was for that. That paid for the whole lot. And then everything else should be profit, if I remember correctly. That was kind of the plan they're buying that. We got one lot of 78s, not 78s. Records going out. These are 10 inch, but they're not 78s. These are actually, actually they might be, but they're vinyl, not shellac. I do not shell, sell my shellac in lots like that because shipping them, pretty sure they would all shatter. So that is going out. 10 inch records. We got one VHS. I've sold this VHS at least three times now. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I took $10 for this, took a little bit lower of a price just because of these stickers we got on the front here. But yeah, happy with that. So here's like a bag of trash and stuff I was just clearing out earlier. So glad to get that out of the unit. One sewing machine part, little presser foot going out. And then this is off a machine. I was actually talking about this machine the other day, 328K. It's usually a pretty good machine to part out. I've got one at home and that's the one I'm going to part out today. I'm going to part out one sewing machine today. And besides that, I'm just listing CDs that I have photos of the rest of the day. Actually, you know what I should do today? I really need to send off an Amazon shipment. So maybe we'll work on that instead of listing CDs. One bobbin. Very old machine that I parted out about two years ago. Great to see the cell. I counted in the bag. There was only four other parts off that machine left. A little part off a senior tiny serger. Look at this little plastic piece. Got like $15 for that thing. Really, really cool. Really cool. What do we got up here? We got one pair of vintage football pants. These are like 70s or 80s. Not exactly sure. I believe Santec or something like that is the brand. You can see up on the machine, up on the screen, but I got like $20 for that. These are, oh, I can't get those out, never mind. We're stuck at the top. One pair of women's Nike shoes. I have not listed any tennis shoes like this the whole year. So it's great to see another pair sell. I did, I still have quite a few pairs of shoes listed. Look at that little tear there. Just not great condition. Should not have, I have no idea where these came from, honestly. Probably paid a dollar for them. Sold for $10 plus shipping. Yeah, not been buying shoes this year besides like boots or maybe some, I think I bought a pair of Jordans or two, but none of those little dollar shoes. So very glad to see them selling. Oklahoma Extension Homemakers Golden Anniversary Cookbook. I want to say I got around $20 for this one. Good cookbook. The Steam Book. Anything Steam related is always worth looking up. It's a very, very good Topic to be looking for in books. So yeah, that sold. Let's see, let's go through the stack of CDs here. We got a few CDs at home. 
Maybe some other stuff too. Oh yeah, definitely some other stuff. I'll pop that up on the screen. I know we sold some old automotive glass. That's gonna go up on the screen. Don't have very much of that left. Sold through most of it, just a little bit left, but still selling some of it. American Authors. We got Red Wilson, which I feel like I sold one of his about a week or so ago. So that's selling. This one's been listed quite a while over a year. Coyote Zen Medicine Dog. And last but not least, for at least this unit, is Tongue Lash. Some self-titled rock CD. Pretty cool. If you'll notice, only one of those actually had a barcode. That's a lot of times something I'm looking for when I'm looking at CDs, is stuff that doesn't have barcodes. This came in that book trailer that I bought about a week ago. There were six DVDs in there. These four that went together, this is Jason Otter's Point Guard. There's one sold on Terrapeak, none listed. Ended up, somebody sent me an offer, I think around 45 maybe plus shipping. So that was a nice little bonus from that trailer load of books. Seems like the bonuses did better in that trailer than the books. This is a very old lot of Baby Einstein. I would not list these in lots anymore unless you have a massive lot. But yeah, these are from a long time, but they were worth more. I listed these kind of during the pandemic. They were worth a good bit more then. Price went down, got $4 plus shipping now. Should have been more aggressive with lowering the price. If you're new here to the channel, the power, not the power, but we have to walk over here and trip this light sensor about every five minutes to keep it on. So we're gonna do that. Also, this is stuff I'm taking home, taking home all the 78s because I don't want them to break. Transporting them home when I take them one at a time. I'm just gonna leave all 78s at home now. Also the shelf, I have special plans for that. Might make a video about that coming up soon. We'll see. We'll see. Here's a pair of Wrangler vintage like polyester dress pants. You can pick these up for a dollar or two. They are worth selling typically. They usually sell pretty good. Usually not a lot of demand, but not a lot of competition either. So I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. A little CD lot. These are all soundtrack CDs. I think the I think there's 15 of them and we got around $10. And we got two vinyls. This one I listed last year, not too long after Halloween, a month or two after Halloween. And I listed it kind of where it was selling at during Halloween time, which was a little bit higher than what it normally sells for. And it, I just kind of waited all year and it finally sold around Halloween time when the price went back up. So that was cool. And then, then you can tell me goodbye by the casino. It sold for $7 plus shipping. That's everything in this unit. We're gonna go down to the other one. I'm going to show you guys what sold out of the other unit. And then we're going to go home and I sh I'll show you how to ship something. What do you want to see me ship? Put it down in the comments. All right, let's go. All right, so I got everything pulled out of the other unit. And I found quite a bit of space down here. I got several totes that like only have three or four things in them that I could probably condense and clear off the whole shelf in here. So maybe, maybe that's the route we're going to take. Who knows? Anyways, now let's just start here with this book. This buyer asked me to put this in a box. It has a $5 book, which usually I just put in a bubble mailer, but since they asked so nicely, we'll put it in a box for them. They're worried about it, but anyways, let's keep going. We got one hat going out, just a basic St. Louis Cardinals hat. Took a lower offer because the market's just oversaturated on these. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna these vinyl records, so I'm not throwing stuff on them. We do not want those to bend. All right, what else we got? So machine part going out that just sold while we were here let's see if we can get this out now here's a life jacket it's got some like wire on it unfortunately i don't know if you can see but it is still brand new with tags it's the end of the season for that type of stuff so i slipped it a lower offer once again a pair of shoes going out nothing special here oh brahma brand new in box though these are walmart they sell them at walmart but i still got like 20 some dollars for them paid five no wait Picked up three pairs for $12 at a garage sale about a year and a half ago. So whatever that comes out to. Not bad profit. Another set of these 100 black and white photographs going out. These did sell, I've got my store on 10% off right now and those sold as a part of that. I think I have two more lots left in that tote. Here we got two of these little, oh, what do you call these? Oh yeah, tech decks. My brother used to love these when we were kids. These are going out. I don't know. They're just fun to sell. Fun, fun, fun. 
What do we got? CDs, Luminescent Orchestra, Carol Bar, some Bollywood thing, and Radio Algeria. Those are all going out. So we've got six CD things in here. I'm gonna put another one in here pretty soon, which means I need to get rid of that encyclopedia set. Need to sell that. Star Trek lot. These are from a giant lot of fantasy and science fiction books that I bought. Ooh, it's been almost exactly two years ago now. This is just kind of the last little bit of it. A lot of these up to get rid of them. Seven Star Trek books, got like $6 for them. Not bad, not bad. Okay, this is a bunch of vintage like oil paints. They're not completely hard and the buyer did ask me that. You can still push on them. So they're probably okay in there. Got $35 shipping on this lot of 12 little tubes of paint that's cool very good sale one pair of wranglers wranglers going out these are size 40 32 which is a very common size that means they're going to sell faster but not for as much money when you have those more common sizes and last but not least another comic book lot it's crazy how much these have been selling lately so yeah these are marvel x factor I think we've got a lot of six of them here for like seven dollars or somewhere in that ballpark maybe it was a little less I remember this guy originally offered me like four dollars i wasn't willing to go that low but yeah this sold. So that's cool a few more lots left in the comic book lot I need to put that toad away i haven't put that toad away in about two weeks i've just been leaving it on the ground and hats keep selling out of it so i know it looks really full but if i was to organize those hats that thing would be halfway empty at least which means I probably want to switch it now to like a banker box. I've been putting them in banker boxes lately and I enjoy that much more than the big hat totes. So maybe I should get some banker boxes, get change some totes out for banker boxes. And that would clear me up quite a bit of space actually. Cause I got about three totes of hats that I could do that with. Yeah. I think I have some more space in here than I thought. Just looking around. There's all that space up there where that tote's supposed to go. Some of these hats could be changed over to banker boxes. And that tote needs to go up there. This one's pretty empty. But yeah, we got a little bit of space here. That one can be moved down to a banker box. Quite a bit of space up there. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're focused on getting some space into this door unit and not the other one. We'll just move some stuff down here. So that's what we'll do. Anyways, um, let's go home. I'm gonna show you guys how to ship something real quick. All right, so today we're gonna be shipping out this VHS. This is a $12 VHS. So we are going to put it in a bubble mailer from Gyro Pack. There is a link and 10% off code down in the description. So check that out. If this was worth more money, like say $40, I would stick it in an eight by six by four box. But since it's just $12, I'm just sticking it in one of these awesome bubble mailers. So yeah, that's how we ship VHS tape. 